Uh, my name is Carol Karan and uh, I am a uh, life coach and I'm also uh, involved with some uh, accessibility related projects. I really do uh, pretty much everything on, on my iPad. The only reason I still uh, keep my uh, MacBook Air is because I have to use Dreamweaver and uh, Photoshop from time to time. Okay. The only thing I'm doing is enlarging the screen. Um, that pretty much helps me access any uh, information that anybody else is accessing. Um, I can magnify images on the fly and um, so I can go to any website and uh, change magnification as I need it. So for example, if the text is uh, you know, a certain size, I, I can magnify it, let's say, twice. But then if I want to look at the photo and have a close-up, you know, I can magnify it five times or ten times if that's what I need. So I think the ease of magnification and the flexibility is, is really amazing. And consistency uh, is something that really helps me um, use the iPad very efficiently and so if it's always on the same side and it's always the same color then I don't really need to even magnify the screen in order to see it I just know it's always there so um, so it's just helpful to keep things consistent as opposed to like experimenting too much with with your own uh, design it uh, it really has been a revolution for me to to buy the, the first iPad because uh, I can uh, read books uh, and I can bring my books as close uh, to my eyes as I need to. I suppose I could not really do that before because either I was reading, reading with a magnifying glass, which is not a very gratifying experience, um, or you know I could read from a computer screen, uh, or I could read with a special device um, that many people uh, who are partially sighted use. But it kind of looks like a big mic microfilm uh, reading device, and uh, it's very bulky, and uh, you know it's not a pleasant experience. Whereas the iPad, not only that you can pack all your books wherever you travel, you know they are just right there on your iPad, but you can um, you can just uh, you know open it up anytime, and you can you can start reading it, and again you can magnify the text, you can look at pictures, and uh, just the reading experience is so great. I, uh, I don't really miss the, the printed books. I, I don't have the romantic view that some other people have because reading reading books now really is uh, fast. You know, for me, it's it's faster than it has ever been before and pl more pleasant than ever. And the fact that you know, iPad is so uh, light, you know, lets me just bring it very close if I need to very close to my face and still, still enjoy the experience, you know, it's not like looking at a computer screen which is at a very different angle. Mm -hmm. It's more personal. Exactly, it's very much so. Right now I'm gonna go to the iBooks app and, uh, you know, I don't really see all those pictures, I don't clearly know what's on some of them, but, uh, you know, I see kind of the outlines and the colors and so even though I may not remember that this is a picture of a book on a bookshelf or something like that, you know, it's still, since the colors remain the same, you know, it's very easy for me to find it. And so we're gonna go inside, inside my, okay, so this is my library. And, um, So we're going inside a book and I, I knew which book it was because I recognized the cover. So one of the things that's interesting is that the book opened with normal size text. It always does, unless I would magnify it, right? So right. I always open it first with an open size and then that's what I do. Then I magnify it and then I make sure that uh, I can adjust the text so that the width is as long as the screen. So this way, when I read, I only uh, have to scroll a bit down and um, get to the end of the page but I never really have to scroll to the right until I'm uh, done reading the left side and I just need to need to go to the right side.